today we have a little work to do on the 82. I took this car to uh, Summit Point Raceway. It, uh, it's Friday at the track day. It's called Fat. But for me it's more like uh, break your car at the track day. Uh, we had a good time. Everything worked pretty well. Except that after a little bit of uh, aggressive driving, the brakes started to go down on this car. Uh, after we finished racing the car at uh, Summit Point, then I noticed the brakes were just about totally shot. So we did a little testing and what we discovered is the master cylinder is out on this car. Um, I ordered a new master cylinder. Uh, this is an OEM master cylinder that Porsche uses. It's, it's an ATE master cylinder for this car. They, uh, they run about $150 or $160. You could rebuild these master cylinders, but quite frankly, for what you pay for a new one with the uh, brake emergency switches on it, uh, totally brand new, it's worth the money to, to just buy the, the new master cylinder. So what we have to do to change this master cylinder will be to remove the floorboard in the car and get to the linkage, and then we'll have to remove the... Um, the, ma the master cylinder and the booster assembly from under the hood. Here you have the, uh, the reservoir, the booster, and master cylinders back there, and there's a big brace. All this needs to come out. We can separate the, the master cylinder from the booster and, re and replace the master cylinder. And then we'll flush all of the fluid, put some fresh fluid in, relieve the brakes, and we should have uh, good brakes again. Alright, the first step then again is to remove the floorboard from the car. We need to get rid of this carpeting and uh, get to the floorboard which is bolted in with just one, one nut. One thing that would, does make it easier is actually to remove the rubber uh, cover off of the pedals. Since we're going to be removing the floorboard and, and replacing that possibly once or twice, it'll make it a lot easier if I just remove these rubbers now. And they just, just really peel off. When I need to uh, pop the uh, accelerator pedal off its ball on the back. And there we have it. Okay, cut that. All right, so we've removed the floorboard out of the 82. And this floorboard is in terrible condition, as many of them are. You can see it's cracked, it's warped, it's, it's just about shot. So what we're going to do is replace this with a, uh, an aftermarket aluminum billet style floorboard. Now you can buy these in many places, uh, Ren Speed, Ren Line, they're, um, they're an exact um, fit for the old floorboard. All we need to do is remove some of the fittings from the old board, put it on the new board, and then install it. Alright, now that we've removed the floorboard, the next step is to remove this uh, clevis-like pin that connects the rod up to the, the brake master cylinder assembly. This is a little tricky because it's the way it's wrapped around for safety precautions so you need to bend it a little bit and pop that off. Now your pin should pull right out of that rod. Okay. Alright, so the pin can be pulled if you just jiggle the rod a little bit to relieve the pressure. Okay. Alright, the next step now that we've removed the clevis pin is to remove the uh, rear bolt holding the master cylinder in.
All right, so now we move to the front of the car. The next step is to remove a couple hoses, drain the uh, brake fluid, and remove this entire assembly. If you look over here, I'll show you some of the uh, pieces that have to be taken out. First of all, your cover is going to come out of the way. We already disconnected this one. That's pretty obvious. Uh, this car has air conditioning, which means we've got a couple hoses in the way. We need to get these brake lines dis disconnected from the master cylinder, and I can't really get to these lines without getting some of this, these hoses and brackets and so forth out of the way. What we'll do is pull the, uh, pull the brace off, need to pull the uh, vacuum assist line off of this, and some of this has already been loosened on this car. Pull that off. We're going to pull the, uh, the air conditioning uh, plenum off. We're going to pull these hoses. Alright, uh, we need to disconnect our uh, brake uh, failure sensor switches. There's one for the front and the rear. This is a, uh, a two-part master cylinder with two separate circuits. Alright, we've got the nose. Now I need to pull some of these uh, some of these other hoses out of the way. Now I can access the, uh, the brake lines, but before we disconnect the lines, what I need to do is drain this master cylinder. All right, before we can remove the master cylinder, we need to take off one cable, because this cable runs over top of the master cylinder and will keep it, keep it in place. This is held on just simply by one clip. If you use a um, pair of even those, Bend this clip up slightly. It'll just pop right off. So then we can take this cable out by doing a little bit of a, a turn on it and and that releases the pressure on top of the master cylinder.